Hello. How's everybody doing? I'm going to wait just a minute for some people to hop on. I'm going to do something with this cute cross tonight. So, just waiting a couple of minutes. Or not even a couple minutes. Hope everybody's doing good tonight. There's somebody popping on. Say hello when you get here. Let me so I know that you're here. Hey guys. Say hello. Won't you pop on? Hey Colin. You with Paige? <clears throat> Buenos dias. Yeah, you just want Mexican. <laughs> Say hello. Won't you hop on, guys? <clears throat> just peeling the sticker off the bottom of this. Hey Lori, how are you? <clears throat> Trying to get all situated. I've moved some more stuff around, so it's kind of on a different side. <laughs> I need to get used to how it is. Say hey once you hop on so I know you're here. I'm trying to get situated in my seat. <laughs> I appreciate y'all hopping on tonight and come to watch. Hey Paige. Good. I'm glad everybody's doing good and staying safe. We got some bad weather coming. Um Tomorrow, tonight, it's just once we start raining here tonight, <clears throat> about 10 o'clock, I think. So, all right, we got some people on, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've got this wood cross, and it's on a little stand. Hey, Billy, how are you from Tupelo? It's kind of my neighbor almost. Hey, Karen from Pennsylvania, glad you're here. Um, I got this wood cross at Dollar Tree. I've had it, I don't know, for a while. Hey Sharon, and so I am excited I would do something with it tonight. So um, y'all know uh, when on churches on Easter, they always have the big church in mean church. They have the big cross outside. Hey Deb, and uh, on Easter Sunday they put flowers on the whole cross and the drape and everything. And um, so that's kind of what I'm going to do tonight with this cross. I'm going to try to. I haven't done this ahead of time, so I don't know. Hey, Carol. Hey, Sue. Hey, Cynthia. Thank y'all for sprinkling. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to cover this cross with some pretty flowers like they do at the churches and make this to an Easter cross. So that's what we're going to attempt to do tonight. So the first thing I'm going to do is, whoops, not the crossover. And like I said, it came from Dollar Tree in their little wood section. Um, this is... Folk art, it's just a green. Hey, Martha. It's just a green that I thought <clears throat> would match my moss because I'm going to cover it moss first um, like I did with another, something else that I did so that when you look between the flowers, if you happen to see, you won't see the wood. You'll just see the green. And this stuff is really thick, and I don't know why. Okay. Hey, Judy from Arkansas. Y'all watching the weather there? Because I know we're getting some bad weather. It's coming from your direction. Hey, Selena. I'm good. How are you? Hey, Kathy. How are you? All right, guys. I'm just going to take some paint. Like I said, this green because I want to match this moth. And if you're just hopping on, we're going to take some of my flowers because y'all know I got tons <laughs> from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to make this to an Easter cross like they put outside the church. And, well, thank you, Martha. I appreciate that. Um, like they have outside the church with all the flowers on Easter Sunday. That's what I'm going to do with this, okay? I um, thought I would try to recreate this. I've had this in my stash for a while. And like I said, y'all know if y'all been watching. Hey, Selena, that I've been um, cleaning out my craft room and moved it all around. Hey, Sharon. And so <clears throat> I've been finding things and getting a little bit of inspiration. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Joanne, for sprinkling so I've been getting some inspiration out of my craft stash. And I am just going to paint this just in case, like I said, if you see between the flowers. Um, so I was rushing to get on. Um, my husband and I were cooking supper. And it wasn't getting done in time. 
<clears throat> in time. And I was like, I gotta hurry up and eat. I gotta go. <laughs> so, um, there's Craig right there. So he cooks this stuff called chicken plus something. Anyway, it's really good. And it just took a little longer than we thought. Yeah, we're supposed to get bad weather here. It's supposed to start raining here. I'm in Mississippi. I'm in North Mississippi. It's supposed to start raining about 10 o'clock, I think. And then it is, um, I think the bad stuff is supposed to be here tomorrow morning. But they said we might get like two to four inches of rain. But, so, I guess it's good that everybody's in and inside. And it's not going to be, um, people will be out and about. Hey, Nancy, thank you. Hey, Denise, how are you? <clears throat> this folk art paint is a lot thicker. I can't even get it out of the bottle. Of course, it's probably a little old, too, so that has probably has a little to do with it. If y'all are just hopping on, I'm just painting this cross, this green color, to match my moss that we're going to cover it with, and we're going to make an Easter cross with uh, flowers all over it, like they put outside the church uh, on Easter Sunday. I, I'm assuming they do that where y'all are from. Um, miss you too, Denise. Thank you, Donna. Donna's last name is Easter. How about that? <clears throat> so, um, I don't know if they do that where y'all are from. Did they do that there? Where, where everybody's from? I know they do here in the South. Um, yeah, I can handle the rain too. It's the tornadoes I don't like. We had one hit here back in January, which is nuts. Um, it really, literally just kind of skipped over us my house and and me and our boys were we were all in the laundry room my husband and we jumped up at like five o'clock in the morning and we're in the laundry room i guess i'm gonna paint the back too i might as well but do y'all do the crosses like that do the churches do the crosses where y'all are from with all the flowers covering the whole big cross outside the church I know they do it here in Mississippi, but I, I didn't know about anywhere else. Okay, you used to live in Biloxi. I'm from Hernando, so I'm on the opposite corner is where I where I'm where I live. Right below, hey Lori, right below uh, Memphis. You know where Memphis is. Right below Memphis. Right below the state line. So I'm just paint, giving this a good coat of green. I just decided to go ahead and paint the back to make it look finished, even though the back's going to be green, but nobody will see the back. So, and I guess I'll paint down here too. Ours, yours is inside the church. Okay. A lot of places here, they'll have the big church, the big cross in the, I'm scratching my head with my paintbrush. This is how you get paint in your hair. And then later on, you're like, how did I get that in my hair? Well, that's how. <laughs> so, you do in Maine? Okay, so it must be an everywhere thing. I don't really, didn't really know if it was or not. Um, but they have big crosses outside the church, and um, they put um, flower, they cover, ooh, they cover the whole thing with flowers. Um, and it is, and it's, usually it's fresh flowers um, from people's yards and all that type of stuff. Um, I have seen it done with artificial flowers, but it is gorgeous. And people, you know, the families get in front of it and take pictures and that kind of thing. And it's really, really, really pretty. So I thought when I dug this out of my stash the other day when I was cleaning out, I thought, you know what? That's what I'm going to do with this. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get paint all over me trying to paint the base. <clears throat> hey, Ola, you're from Illinois. I've only been to Illinois, just really going over the state line from St. Louis, and that's the only time I've ever been to Illinois. What color are you using? It is folk art. It's called Clover, and it's kind of old, I think, because it's kind of thick, but and I'm using it. These acrylic paints really last a long time. So, just kind of getting a good coat on it. Now i got to paint where my fingers were. <clears throat> so I won't mess it up. Maybe I got it all covered. But we're going to cover it with moss, so not really the front of it anyway. I don't know if I'm going to cover the back or not. Indiana. Never been to Indiana. Alright, let me get my little 
my little handy dandy fan going. And more Alabama. I don't know where Add More is. Okay, I'm gonna put that away. I got green fingers. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna wait for that to dry just a minute. Hey Graham, we're making an uh, Easter cross covered with flowers, and I'm painting it green because I'm gonna cover it with the moss first. Y'all, if y'all have watched any of my other videos, I covered uh, I covered that. You might not can see it though. It's a V right up here on this platter. It's covered in the moss. I did that, and I think that's I covered a bunny with the moss. I don't know where he is. Where's the bunny? Oh, he's up high. I don't know if you can see that, but he's uh, he's covered in moss too. So I've done that. So I'm going to use some of my scrap pieces and I'm going to um, use some of those and piece it together. Hey, Sherry from Jacksonville, Florida. I've been there. Hey, Susanna. That's my niece. She lives uh, on the coast of Mississippi. So she's at the op. Hey, Rochelle. Thank you. Happy Easter to you too. Getting ready to dye eggs. You know, this is probably the first year I've never dyed. I hadn't dyed eggs with my kids, but they're getting older. They're, they're like, we ain't got time for that. I did get my car washed. I washed my car this today. <laughs> of course, I had to kind of bribe them a little bit. <laughs> I took a, you'll probably laugh, but I, sometimes I get creative about stuff and I, I took a piece of cardboard <clears throat> and me and my husband were outside doing stuff anyway. And I'm like, my car needs washing so bad. So I took a piece of cardboard and I wrote in black letters, help wanted. I said, wash car and vacuum out inside, pays cash, $20. So I texted all three of them and I said, there's some help, help wanted uh, sign on the bar in the kitchen if y'all wanna go check it out. So next thing I know, whoo, 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 they came running outside and was like, okay, are we starting now? What are we doing? <laughs> so they're trying to make some money. So yeah, I, they split the $20 and they did a good job on my car though. So it was funny though. They had to come down and see the help wanted sign. <laughs> You know, if I ask them to do it, they're like, eh, because they're 13, one, mine's supposed to be 14, and then Craig's oldest is 14. So we got 12, 13, 14, 14. And then I have an oldest, and he's on here watching. I'm just letting this dry, guys. It's almost dry. Hey, Janet from New Jersey. Hey, Erica. How are you? Hey, Gail. Happy Easter to you. I did, I, I'm going to enjoy it tomorrow and watch the... Storms roll in. I hope it's not going to get too bad. Okay, it's almost dry. All right, so there's our cross. And if you're just hopping on, we're going to take this cross and I'm going to cover it with moss. And then we're going to glue flowers all over it. Thank you, Rita. I appreciate that. Um, we're going to cover the cross with flowers like they do outside the church on Easter. That's what we're going to do. That's When I pulled this out of my stash, I was like, miss you too, Susanna. Um... I was like, you know what? That's what that needs to be is an Easter cross. So that's what I'm going to do with it. <clears throat> it was a dollar from the Dollar Tree. I didn't get this at my Dollar Tree. I got this in a Dollar Tree in Memphis. Because um, some of them have the Crafter Square, I think is what it's called. And they have all the little wood stuff. And I go up to that one occasionally. But like I said, it's been a while since I've been because we haven't been able to go anywhere. But they have <clears throat> a lot of um, craft stuff. Hey, Joni from Wisconsin. Thank you. Happy Easter to you, too. All right. So we're going to call that dry. Turn my fan off so y'all can hear. So now I've got this moss, and I have already done a couple of things up here with the moss. So I always save my little scrap pieces because you never know when you're going to need something. And you dig it out and go like, oh, I got that. So see, I've already cut something out of that V up there on this platter right here. I cut that out and it is, um, that's where that went. So we're just going to kind of piece it on and I'm going to try to see which way I want the front to be because it kind of, it wants to lean back a little bit, which that's fine with me. Hey, Kimberly, we're ta we're making an Easter cross. We're going to cover this with flowers if you're just hopping on. Come from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to lay it down and I'm getting green paint everywhere, all over me. Let's see it, get that dry. Okay. Hey, <laughs> hey from Minnesota, Tracy. Okay, 
So this is gonna be a little more difficult because I can't lay it totally flat because of the little stand on the bottom. So, back, okay. Um, because I'm just gonna kinda have to piece it together because I'm working with my scraps. So, <clears throat> let's see how I'm gonna do this. Just trying to get it, get it on there. And I need a Sharpie. Just gonna draw on it with a Sharpie. Tomorrow is supposed to be 80. I know it's supposed to storm here tomorrow and rain all day tomorrow. I just don't want it to come in the middle of the night. That's what I don't like is when the storms come in the middle of the night. So I guess this will be the first time ever that there hadn't been church on Easter Sunday. It's just crazy. Put the stand off the edge of the table. I thought about that, Shaney. I may end up doing that before it's over with. Hanging it off so I can lay it flat. All right, there's part of it. <laughs> so let's see. Which way is the front? Okay. So I got part of it. And it doesn't have to be just perfect. Um, just as long as I get it covered. I just don't want anything showing through after I get it on there. Three weeks ago, it was in the middle of the night. Yeah, it's it was in the middle, well, early, early morning about in January when we had a tornado come through. So it's kind of scary. I don't like it doing all that at night. Hey, Jennifer from Louisiana. I'm just trying to piece this on because, you know, I don't want to waste it because who knows when I will get to go shopping for stuff any, anytime soon. Got that done. Now I'm just gonna do the bottom part. I don't think I can salvage much more of this. <clears throat> so I'm all. And this stuff makes a mess too when you cut it. So let's see. All right. How am I gonna cut that? Let me flip this over. I've got those two pieces. I'm gonna lay them out here. And if y'all can't see because of the comments, if you'll just swipe to the swipe your screen. It'll push the comments out of the way. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Gia. Hey, Becky. I don't know if I spoke to you a minute ago or not. And I'm just measuring this kind of where I'm going to put my malls. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Uh, let's see how, what else I got to cut. I need a little piece right here. I think I'm going to do this. We had a bad storm Tuesday night. Slept through it. My son said we had him up. It was, yeah, it's it's the time of the year for us. It's um, of course we had it in January, and that's like unheard of around here to have a tornado in January. Okay, all right. Now I'm gonna make sure I got it on the right side. I've got to sign off. We'll catch you again. All right, Denise. Thanks for watching, though. But you can come back and watch the replay anytime. Glad you caught me a little bit. All right, guys. So I'm just going to take my hot glue. And I'm just going to put it all over my moss. And then I'm going to get it right on there like that and hold it down. Ooh. <laughs> and I'll burn myself. Ooh, that's hot. Hot, hot, hot. It seeped through the, the cracks and burned me. All right. So we got that much. See? I'm gonna get this little piece over here. Trim that a little bit. Put my cap back on my Sharpie before it dries out. Well, I guess there wasn't any Easter dresses or Easter shoes or anything bought this year. <clears throat> Which I hate that. But it is what it is. We're having to deal with it. You miss turquoise. What turquoise? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Patricia? What time is it where you are? You're in uh, London or UK or somewhere, right? Okay. Got all the moss on there. Thank you, Carol. Let's see. It's just kind of pulling off pieces. Okay, so I got that done. Get all my hot glue. I got this 
hot mess. Gotta get my vacuum. Love my little vacuum cleaner. All right, so there's that. I got that done. And that's probably, I mean, this is really kind of a, I wouldn't say unnecessary step, but if you don't have the moss, you definitely don't have to, um, definitely don't have to do this part. I just, I don't know. I just did. I could have just painted it green and went with that. So now I have all of this Ta -da! <laughs> to pull from. So, and I have all these little loose flowers over here. So I'm going to start gluing them on. Um, so I just kind of, it's 1.53 in the UK in the morning. You're up late. So I'm just taking my little flowers that I pulled off, some Dollar Tree flowers, and then I'm cutting that little stem thing off the back, and I'm just going to start randomly just gluing them on. We're going to see how this is going to turn out. Hey, Jen. Hey, Mary Beth. How are you? We're making an Easter cross with all the flowers on it. If you're just hopping on, that's what I'm doing. Do those flowers never end? No, they don't. They, um, like I said, I have this big vase over here full of these flowers. I can't help myself. They're all pretty this year from the Dollar Tree. And when I found out we were going to be locked down, you know, I had to run out and make an emergency um, purchase at the Dollar Tree. So see, I'm just, I'm just kind of randomly putting them on there. I'm going to cover the whole thing before we're done. Um, and I'm just, just buying my little flower. Like this one's like got, I don't know if that's a blue bonnet or let's see what it says. It's a hop bush, whatever a hop bush is. That's what it says. Um, I'm just going to, I'm just pulling them off. And like that one kind of came apart. Let's see. And I am just, where'd I get the vacuum cleaner? Amazon. And it is awesome. It's just this little handheld thing and it charges by UV, a USB, a little micro USB. And I just stuck all this stuff up on my table rather than sweep it off into the trash can. I got tired of doing that. So I had to come up with some other way to do something. And I thought that was, that is just where it's at right there. I love it. It is awesome. I can leave the link for you if, so you can take it right, take you right to the one that I actually have. And um, then you won't be hunting everywhere. When I post the picture when I'm done, I can post the link if you need me to. I'll be glad to. So this is another one of those little hot bushes. I'm telling you, Dollar Tree just outdid themselves this year on the flowers. They're so pretty. Oh, Shani, you love your vacuum? Shani got one. It is so cool. Some of these little flowers have these little um, plastic things on the back. So I'm just kind of having to take them off and do whatever. I'm just hoping this is going to turn out right. <laughs> this is going to turn out and look pretty. Never know. Might and it might not. But I, I mean, I think in my mind it looks pretty. So we'll see. You really do have some lovely flowers. I know. We, they have really outdone themselves this year. I got all kinds. So, like, these are, like, real tall, and I'm just pulling off some of the, um, the little petals, or I say I am. See, and they just come off, and I can just put a couple together, just get a little creative with it, and then I'm going to, let's see, I'm just kind of randomly doing this. I guess I need to have my, um, my little finger protector. You tickle me with the flower stash. <laughs> I do the same thing. I need a few of these and I have, yes, I, I have this huge vase over here, a glass vase that, um, I keep that vase and it's big and glass. That was the vase that was at my daddy's funeral that I had for him. And it, um, it had white flowers in it at his funeral. And so I keep that. It's a huge glass vase and it's really heavy. Because if not, they will just tump over. So it has to be something heavy that they're in because they're so... Um, hey, Linda. This is going to be so pretty. Remember the church back home. Yeah, that's what I was wondering, Carol, if other churches did it too. Because I know here in the South, you know, most churches do this with the, flat, with the um, Easter cross. 
So when I saw this cross, I just knew I had to have it. Hey, Linda, you're fine. You're not late. You're good. And see, some of them have that little long tip to them, and I'm just snipping it off. And if it starts wanting to come apart, it's okay, because we're going to put that some glue on the back of that thing and make it stay down. It's not going to go anywhere, I promise. So... So what are y'all doing for Easter tomorrow? Just y'all cooking or just hiding eggs or what are you what y'all gonna do? Let's see. Let me find some different ones. We're just gonna watch it storm, I guess. I don't like it. I like this time of year, but I don't like the weather. Cause it's tornado season. Hell. Grandmother filled eggs and made some candy in it. Oh, well, that's fun. I never thought of ripping apart. Yeah, I. when I had the idea, idea to do this, I was like, well, I guess I better make sure I got enough teeny tiny flowers to go on this cross because a lot of them are way too big, of course. Um, so... I just had to make sure I had enough small ones, so I thought, well, I can just take some of these apart. And see, some of them I've already pulled from in the past for something else, but, um, so I'm just, and to be honest, I don't really like tearing all apart, because <laughs> my little, not little, my bunch of flowers that I have over there look so pretty all together. Hubby's cooking ham, macaroni and cheese, veggies, yeah, it's supposed to storm. Where are you, Jennifer? That it's gonna storm. Gotta be somewhere close to me. See this this one has that little little thing on the back where it'll make it stick up too high. So I'm just putting some glue on and sticking it down. I'm gonna show it to y'all right quick so you can see how the progress is coming. See? It's gonna be like a little miniature version of the little church uh thing. I want to put some of this on here too. This is baby's breath, I think. Yes, baby's breath. Look how pretty that is. I mean, Dollar Tree has really, uh, they stepped it up this year with their florals. And I just want them all. Hunkering down while the Toracon ate. I know, what, where did they come up with this Toracon stuff? I never in my life have heard about that until now. And they're talking about Toracon. I just don't know about that baby's breath. Torcon and all this stuff I've never in my life. Whole family is going to the, do Zoom. I've heard a lot of people doing the Zoom thing with their families. Thank you, Jen. Let's see. i got to glue this one together because it wanted to come apart. Storm for a few minutes in Arkansas. I don't want it to get bad. Hey, Sandy from Southern California and Lake Charles, Louisiana, Jennifer. How are y'all tonight? I'm glad y'all hopped on. Let's see. I'm just gluing flowers to a cross. Making like an Easter cross. Thank you, Susan, for sprinkling. So that's how it's looking. I've got glue strings everywhere. See it? It's looking good so far. I'm just digging through here to find some little different um, flowers. I have I have plenty. I got prepared before the quarantine. Everybody was buying toilet paper and Lee was at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Sorry. But I had plenty of supplies here at my house. So it wasn't necessary for us to run out and frantic in a frantic panic. And I'm just gluing away, guys. So I hope this gives y'all an idea if you have a little wood cross or some kind of cross. And then you can just pull it out every Easter and um, thank you, Margaret, and put it pull it out every Easter and put it out with your Easter stuff. Or a tiered tray or something like that. It would look awesome. Eight out of ten chance of having a tornado. Oh, so that's what that means, the Torcon thing. Well, that's not good. Thank you, Elizabeth. Hey Sherry. I'm glad you found me. It just popped up in your news feed. You can hit the screen and a little thing will come up and it'll say, uh, you can follow me. And you can keep watching for more stuff because I got I got plenty, plenty of ideas going on. 
in this brain. It goes all the time of craft, craft ideas. I'll see something and I'll be like, oh, I can do something with that. You just got kicked off. Hmm. Wonder what happened. All right. What else do I need? See, look at these. These say, these are lilac. Look how pretty they are. I mean, they are just really, really outdid themselves this year. And I hate tearing them apart, but for the sake of my little cross, I'm going to. But yeah, I was hoping, I was like, I hope I have enough little flowers um, to do this with. As if I really didn't know that I didn't. I wish I had gotten some stuff before lockdown. I did, but I don't live really far from the Dollar Tree, to be honest. I just live <laughs> not far at all. Like, my neighborhood is behind a Walmart in our town. And then there's a little strip that, where the Dollar Tree and Goodwill and a bunch of stuff is. And so, um, I, I'm, I don't even, almost don't even have to leave my neighborhood and it's kind of dangerous. <laughs> Did a cross earlier with the painted background and flowers. Oh, I bet that was pretty. See, this is how it's coming. Oh, there are glue. It looks like spider webs all over this poor cross. I know y'all can't see them, but like everywhere. They are the gram. They're very pretty this year. And I'm, I was just so impressed. See, I got some of these out, but they're like way too big. Let's see what else I got. I, I like the daisies. I think these came from Dollar General, I think. And see, I've already pulled off some of them. But I think they're just too big. So I'm just trying to, I got a whole bundle over here, if y'all can see. Let's see if I can put some of, let's see if I can put some. This is like Walmart uh, lavender. Let's see if I can incorporate that somehow in there. Somehow. Just laying it down and going to glue it on there. <laughs> I put that on there and it's kind of sticking out because it's like a tall flower, but we're going to see. I can always pull it off, but I don't like it. Okay. Just kind of nestle it in there. I kind of like that little lavender on there. That's pretty. Walmart has some um, pretty florals too for 97 cents. They have lots of pretty... Um, Pretty flowers. Thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> okay. See how I got that lavender? Ugh, this glue string. See the lavender? And I put one down here. It's going to be so pretty when I get done. Oh, that glue was hot on that thing. I'm just randomly doing this. So do y'all dye eggs? Anybody dying eggs tonight? It's kind of sad that I wasn't dying eggs. Find time to make my bunnies tomorrow. Oh, good, Carol. I want to see them. I want to see them. Some of these flowers I'm using, let me show you, are some of those little scrap flowers. These little, I just pulled them out of my little drawer I have over there with all these little accessory looking things, embellishments. And I'm, some of these flowers are actually those too. So don't, don't think you don't, you can't use those. You got to think outside the box a little bit and, oh, I can use those little scrapbook flowers because they're kind of paper like. Hey, Barbara. And I'm just kind of randomly. So what am I doing for Easter? Watching for tornadoes, I guess. It's going to be um, um, storming. And we're just going to be hanging out here, I guess. And hopefully we're not in our safe spot in our house. Hello from Gainesville, Florida. Granddaughters and I did eggs last night. I love dying eggs. I love dying eggs. I like dipping them. And of course, you know, there's always, you got to take that one egg at the end and you've got to dip it in all of the colors. And of course, we all know what color it's going to turn. Army green. It's going to turn this color. <laughs> Once you dip it in all the colors, it's going to be green. Because we got to do it every year. It's just, you just have to. i got to fix my leg. Mine are all grown. I have one that's grown, but now I'm 
Uh, I still have, I have two stepsons and I have my own son here. And they're just, just teenagers. And, um, I've got a lot of pink. I need to find something else. Um, but we didn't, we didn't do eggs this year. I lost you several minutes, but I'm back. Oh, good. Glad you came back. Sorry you lost me. I know Facebook's having some issues lately. See, like these two flowers, these two petals came apart and I just, there's like glue strings blowing in the air. Um, <laughs> and I just glued them together and then I'm just going to kind of, whoop, stuck to my finger. And then I'll just put some glue down and stick those two petals together. It's me. I'm grown. Yep. That's my son. He's grown. He's almost out of college and he's got, he's not having a graduation because they canceled it, which we're kind of bummed about, but it is what it is. But, um, he'll be going to work in Dallas. So very proud of my son and what he has done and accomplished. Um, he has worked very hard. All right, there it is so far, guys. See the glue hanging off? Y'all can see it. Whew. It's like a spider's nightmare up in here. <laughs> so, yeah, we were kind of bummed when they, they're not, they were going to cancel graduation. I just had to have me a good old cry. But, you know, something that you look forward to for your child. But they're going to do it. They've rescheduled it for August. So hopefully he'll get to come home and co go to graduation, but we'll see. All right, let's see what else I got over here. Need some yellow down here at the bottom. It's looking so good. So I hope y'all, if y'all have a cross that are in your stash somewhere, and you can make an Easter cross. Thank you, Becky. What did he go to school for? Um, he's in construction engineering. So. He, um, that's what he's doing. So he's got a big job with a company in Dallas and that's where he's headed. And I kind of don't like to think about it because it's good ways for me. And, but they got to grow up and they got to fly out of the nest and they got to do their thing. But he's, he is totally capable of doing that, being on his own. That's what I've raised him to do was to be self-sufficient and not to depend on me and he doesn't so that's awesome which he depends on me for some things but you know what y'all know what i'm getting at he's uh very capable he's not gonna know a soul but he's stoked about going mama's not really stoked but i'll make it <laughs> Hair dryer. I know, Shaney, I got my hair dryer here somewhere. Somewhere. It's over there. It's not even plugged in. <laughs> so there it is. It's coming along, guys. I'm almost done with it. This is going to be one of those projects where I think it looks a whole lot better than what I envisioned. So now let's see what color I need. Let's do, let's do these. See, these are little scrapbook. And these are my, the last of them, too, and I'm, like, heartbroken because I had a whole bunch of them, and I love these little roses. Y'all can see them. They're from the scrapbook section. I think they're either at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Like I said, I've had them forever, and I'm getting down to the very end. And I hope they still sell them. I've had it forever. So, just glue and glue and guys. They're a little, like, they're paper, but they don't tear. Yeah, mess seeing your grandkids. I can imagine all these people that can't see their grandkids and their kids, you know, their grand, you know, grandparents can't see their kids, grandkids, and stuff like that is, it's terrible. But we will one day. It's going to be a grand time when we all get, get to cut loose and I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby, the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to go to the Mexican restaurant and I'm going to eat me some Mexican and sit there at the table and eat Mexican in the restaurant. That's my fave. So, let's see. 
So what are y'all going to do? What's the first thing y'all are going to do when you get loose? <laughs> Whatever we want to say. 12 miles from me, unless I go to the grocery store, one of you aren't hardly ever seeing. Aww. I guess when you live close, you kind of take, take it for granted that they're just right there. So, what's the first thing y'all are going to do when y'all, when they tell us we can, everything opens back up? Y'all got plant Hobby Lobby. Yes. Me too. Goodwill. Me too, Ola. Me too. I'm missing my junkin', and after cleaning out my craft room, I really don't need to go junking, but I can just go stroll through the aisles. What's that gonna hurt? <laughs> What's that gonna hurt? All right, here it is. I'm almost done. I still got a little here and a little there. It's gonna look so stinking cute. After I get these glue strings all out of here, it's gonna look a whole lot better. Like I said, it looks like a spider's nightmare. Beach and fine seashells. Do you live next to the beach, Pat? I don't live close to the beach. But yes, I like the beach. And I hope everybody's um, supporting all the... the um, mom and pop places um, there's a lot of mom and pop places here and they do take out and stuff like that so everybody's trying to be supportive oh gosh you haven't seen your family since since december wow that's a long time all right we're getting there guys put some just trying to find stuff to poke in these little places thank you rochelle i'm trying to I'm getting there. But I think I'm going to put some moss around the bottom. But I'm, I'm going to put that, um, the Spanish moss around the bottom. I'm going to go see your dad. I've seen people visiting their parents and their grandparents and they're waving at, at them through the window and stuff. I think that's just so precious. But yeah. I don't have my parents any longer. But it's all okay. They're in a better place, and I'll know I'll see them again one day. Trying to eat out some. Yeah, us too. We, I mean, we try to eat out some, but we cook some too. But um, just try to support. Of course, I had to get my neck Mexican fix last weekend. Yep, I did. Now I'm getting down to these little bitty spots. I don't know about this baby's breath. Get a pedicure and get your nails done. There are going to be people lined up to get their hair cut and get their nails done. I see people on Facebook and they're outside like cutting their son's hair in the yard. And it's just, it's, it's just so surreal to me that we're all just shut down. And it's just, it's just crazy to think about that everybody's this way. It's not just you or your town. It's everybody. And then we're all going through the same thing. But I think it's a learning experience, though. I think people are going to um, learn a lot about their self and what they can and can't do without um, through the, this whole experience and what to appreciate and how to be creative and try how to... Um, how to be creative and how to come up with things to do and different ways to do things that you normally would take for granted that you do. I just think it's awesome that the ways people are doing that. Make sure you use your mind a little bit. I got these little bitty spots and I'm trying to cover them up. My nails are hideous right now. No, Carol, they're not. But yeah, I know it's hurting all those people's businesses, and it's just, I hope everybody makes it through all of this, and it's just bad. All right, I don't know if I can add any more. I've got 
little bitty spots. Went to the mall to have course they're open, but to the mall. Oh, they're not open. And then some people said the other night that um, some of y'all's like Walmart and stuff aren't or has everything roped off except for the essentials. That's just insane. What if somebody wanted to do a puzzle to try to pass the time to keep from losing their mind with their kids? I mean, I mean, what's that going to hurt for you to go and buy a puzzle or some paint to paint something? And they said that the Walmart was had everything roped off but the groceries and like the toilet paper and stuff. All right, guys, I think this is done. Look, look how pretty it is. I'm so proud of that. Isn't that cute? That is just so cute. It turned out so cute. I hope y'all have some crosses in your stash and you can and uh, you can uh, break one out and do one. But I think I'm going to put some of this. I want to paint the whole house. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I've had my fair share of painting the inside of a house. And me and my husband both agree. That's no more. I'm too old to do that. I'm not. Mm -mm. Nope. I just want to pay somebody to do it. And come home and go, oh my gosh, it looks so awesome. <laughs> no. Oh. Uh-oh, what happened to Gail? Somebody happened to somebody. Super cute. Yeah, I think I'm going to just put some of this, glue some of this moss down here. Just to cover up that little stand. It's your accent that cracks me up. Well, my southern accent, Bill? I don't have an accent. Maybe you have an accent. Thank you, Kathy. It is pretty, I think. You want to see? I got like trying to be like Carol and trying to play hairdresser. So you, you know how the hairdresser fixes your hair and they have you facing away from the mirror. And then once you're all fixed and done, then they spin you around and you can see the, <laughs> see the mirror. So yeah, that's what I tell Carol she does. I'm like, she's playing beautician again. She'll do all this stuff and you can't see it. And then she turns it around so you can go, wow. That's so funny. And I'm just kind of dressing up the bottom down here where it doesn't look so bare. Yeah, Bill, you think, and you know that's funny because it is funny. Hey, Kia. You sound like home to me. Oh, because I'm country. And see, you know how you don't see yourself like that, but. And then doing these lives, and then you watch it back, and it's like, oh my gosh, I sound. So. But you don't think anything of it because hair, everybody here talks like I do. So, we're all, we all sound the same. It's that southern hospitality. Because as y'all can probably tell, I can go in the store and I don't meet a stranger. I can tell you that. Never have. I am talk to anybody. I'm talking to this empty room, but y'all are listening, you know, on this thing, but nobody's talking back. But I can talk to anybody. You have to do a little more. It's okay, Sylvia. You can always start at the beginning and watch it however many times you want to. <laughs> You're not late. A true Southern girl. Yes, I've been in Mississippi born and bred my whole life. Um, I love it here. Yeah, it's pretty. Look. Looks like an Easter cross. Now, my debate is... I gotta do some hair cutting, though. This stuff is crazy wild. Okay. I'll just give it a little haircut. Doesn't that look cute? Okay. So now... The next question is, is do I want to put one of those drape cloths on it or just leave it like this? Because I got some ribbon out and I thought maybe I could maneuver it somehow. Like this. It's just got wire in it so I can kind of mush it up. But I don't want to cover up my cross. I don't, I don't know. What do y'all think? Then I thought, well, that's wide. Never thought about 
about that, but yeah, Carol does do that. She does, and I tease her about it too, but I love it though, because she's like, she don't want you to see it, but that's fine too, because sometimes you just like a surprise, and you build up the anticipation, and then, ta-da, here it is. So, so I got this lace, I could do that, or I could just leave it like it is, and not even do, do that. So what do y'all think? Y'all think I should put a drape on it or no? Or just leave it without the drape? I like it without. But it, does it need something? A bow or something? But I just love it. I need a little sign right down here that says, He is risen. Yeah, we both know that, yes, that some, of, some more people are country than other people. That's absolutely true. I don't have any thinner ribbon. Not out, I don't. But I had this lace. That wouldn't take away from it too much. Lace looks good. I can always leave it on there and I can always take it off. Just not glue it. Just do it like that. And like that. Does that look too bad? See, it just, it's a little something. You would have made perfect gifts at the nursing home. Well, thank you. I'm all about some crafts. Now I can I can uh, tear up some Bible school crafts. I'm all about it. Look how cute that is. See, that's just a little something. I think so too. I think the lace looks pretty. It's just just a little bit of something something <laughs> to uh I don't want it to overpower and take away from it. Yeah, I think the lace is pretty. Like that. And what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to put a just a dot up here at the top to get it to stay. Because, you know, it's real light. And if the, if the um, yeah, the sign's a good idea. That's what I thought. Down here and put, he is risen or he is not here, he's risen. Something like that would be really cute. There's so much you could do with this, y'all. You know, if you have a cross at home and some flowers, just go to town with it and do your own thing and add you know, add to it. You could do other stuff besides flowers. You could just do the moss and then put a little crown of thorns on it with some like grapevine little twigs from your yard or something and make you a little crown of thorns and put that, hoop it over it. And that would be really cute too. Thank you, Pat. I think so too. So see, I kind of, I just put some glue up here at the, on the top of the cross where it would just hold it. Cause it's so lightweight. It, if a breeze went by, it would blow off. A little that something something's perfect yeah that's my little saying i say a little something something so so what do y'all think y'all like it i like it i think it's really cute and i think it fit the occasion since easter is tomorrow and i can put this up and put it up with all my easter stuff every year or you could put it on a tiered tray and you could even do this in a smaller version i have this is a little wood cut out that i had and i just glued it to a jingle block and I actually haven't done anything else but put sheet music on it. But if even you had something small like this, I know they're not open, but Hobby Lobby has different crosses like this. And then also Walmart has in the craft section at Walmart where all the wood dowels are and the, um, what else is over there? It's kind of where the kids crafting area is and the beads and stuff. They have wood crosses that are pretty big. And you could, you could find a way to stand it up. You could glue piece of wood to it to the back of it or to it like that that's all I did was put hot glue this to this jingle block there it is there um you could do that it gets you one at Walmart and you could do the same thing or you could paint it or just whatever you want to do to it but I just absolutely love this I think it turned out so cute and it is appropriate so and I used up some of my Dollar Tree flowers not much but I used some of them um, but this is my little, this came from the Dollar Tree, this cross, already on the stand, and then we just painted it green and put moss on it, but you, you see how you can see some of the moss through there, but not really, so if you just wanted to paint it green and then glue everything to it, you could do that too if you didn't have the moss, so it's not really going to matter once you get it all covered up, you're not going to see it, so I just did it just in case, <laughs> so all right guys, well I appreciate y'all hopping on and watching me tonight, and if you, if you will, sprinkle on this video for me uh, so other people might want to make a Easter cross too. Um, and you can click the screen and hit the follow and so you can follow me and hit go live, you know, notified when she goes live. 
because I would appreciate it if y'all would keep watching. I got lots of ideas churning up in this brain up here. <laughs> so, um, so y'all have a good night. I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful Easter. Spend some time with your family as if you're already not because we're all quarantined. And just enjoy everybody. Enjoy your family. Enjoy the time that we have that we're not all rushing around to go somewhere. So, Because life is a rush. And sometimes you just need to slow down a little bit and just enjoy the people that you have. And be thankful for what you have and, and what Jesus did on this cross for us many, many years ago so that we could all be saved and go to heaven. So I hope that um, you make one of these or you attempt something like it because I really like it. So y'all stay safe in the storms. If the storms are coming your way, y'all be safe and y'all have a happy, happy Easter. I may come on and do a craft tomorrow night. I don't know. Just depends on what's happening. So, but if not, I'll probably be on Monday night for sure. So I'll see y'all guys later. Y'all have an awesome Easter and thank y'all for sprinkling and thank y'all for showing up guys. Okay. Love y'all. See y'all later. Bye guys.